All right, guys, Rich Hottinger here, Shift Transformations, bringing you another how-to cooking video. So today we'll be doing a keto skillet creation. Mixed veggies, poached eggs, and some pasta zero noodles. Really tasty, high fat, good amount of protein, and low carb. Let me show you how to do this one. All right, so as always, let's go over the ingredients we're going to need to put this creation together. We'll start with the oils and fats. Uh, you can need some red palm oil, coconut oil, sesame oil, and grass-fed butter. For the spices, we're going to have garlic, cilantro, chives, chipotle, pink salt, and black pepper. So on the spices, guys, get creative. You can use whatever you know fits your palate, and uh, so you can change it up. That's not the end-all, be-all list there. You can do as you wish. Same goes for the mixed veggies I got here, guys. You see what I have? Uh, if you don't like any of these types of vegetables, then put your own vegetables in there. Just try to have three, four, maybe even five different types of vegetables. You just get a good mix in there but uh you could do whatever you feel on that this is just my example for the protein you're going to go with some organic eggs make sure they're organic guys you don't want anything that has antibiotics or steroids or soy in them okay and for the miscellaneous part i have the pasta zero here which is our low carb noodle um, you can get these things at walmart or um, amazon has them you can get them wherever all right so that's what you're going to need to put it all together Okay, so since we're making a keto skillet creation, you're going to need a cast iron skillet. Reason being, we're going to be doing a stove top and an oven application, so you're going to need to stick this thing in the oven. So make sure you have a good cast iron skillet ready to go so you can make this creation. All right, step number one, we're going to get our poached eggs ready. So get a big pot like this, put some water in it, and heat the water up. If you want to get it to boiling and then taper it back where there's no more bubbles coming up that would be the best we don't want a lot of bubbles when we're doing poached eggs because it kind of knocks the eggs all over the place and beats them up a bit all right so get that started and then we'll move on to the next step all right so we got to get our eggs prepared to drop them into the water so what you're going to do is have two little dishes your eggs and a little egg strainer and then you're going to crack the egg put it into the strainer and let the excess water come out into the dish you got to separate this water and get the egg away from it because when you put your egg into the heated water, you do not want a bunch of little stringy things coming off of your egg. So this is going to help alleviate a lot of that. Not all of it, but most of it. All right, now that our eggs are all ready, let's dump them into the water and make sure you pour it in nice and quick like I just did there or your egg is going to spread out all over the pot and make a mess. So what you're going to do is cook the eggs for about three or four minutes. Uh, then scoop one out with a ladle just as I'm doing here dump all the water out And if you want you can push on the yolk a little bit just to make sure it's still liquidy if it's too liquidy um, You do not want to cook the egg all the way through though because we're gonna have some runniness later That's gonna make this really really nice when to mix it with all the vegetables Then just set them aside plate them until we're ready to use them on the skillet All right now that the eggs are ready and we're gonna go ahead and get started on our skillet with the vegetables put the red palm oil the coconut oil butter in there turn it to about medium heat let that melt down go ahead add all of your vegetables and we're gonna put a lid on this thing and let it sit for a few minutes then we're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna put our spice on top of our vegetables give it a stir put the lid back on for a few more minutes let all those flavors come together and then we'll get started on the pasta okay for the pasta make sure when you take the pasta out of the package you put it in the strainer and you run it under the faucet and get the uh, noodles really cleaned off after you do that put it into a bowl like this start seasoning the noodles salt pepper you know cilantro garlic whatever spices you like and then we're going to put that right into the skillet on top of our vegetables and what we're going to want to do is take something a spoon or something and mix all of this up together so you get all the ingredients mixed together all those flavors mixed together and then go ahead stick this thing right in the oven make sure you set your oven to high and on broil we want to get a nice crispiness to our dish voila guys there you go you have your keto skillet creation you got a super high fat low carb and a good amount of protein in this dish here and don't forget the vitamins and minerals so before you dig into this Take your sesame oil and drizzle that all over the top of this for some added flavor. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Stay tuned for more videos coming from me. And, guys, check us out on our Facebook community pages. We've got three different pages now bringing you free content on a weekly basis. All right, and those pages are Shift Nourish, Shift Body, and Shift Spirit. We'll see you there.